Someone is in family bondage. Be careful as you go about assisting them this season. Be careful as you go about touching someone's life this season. It is not everyone that you need to assist. It is not everyone, beloved, beloved, that you need to reach out to. It is not everyone that you have you need to bless. Some people are in family bondages, and once you go about to bless them, their bondages begin to, you know, coming against you. Their bondages will begin to, you know, try, try to start coming against you, or the things that the entities that they attach to start coming against you. Be very, very careful. If you are assisting someone, make sure you pray, beloved, pray, pray, pray over your seed before you bless someone with. Most of you are suffering today because you bless somebody. I didn't know that what you what you did was going to call for towards you, you know, negative situations. Some of you are suffering because you don't even know where your suffering came from. It's because you lent a helping hand to somebody. You, you stretch forth your hands and give to somebody that had entities that have been hindering them, attached to them. And then they don't, they don't want anyone to assist them. And you, because you are you're so good, so generous, you said, okay, let me, you just said, okay, you want to assist them. And once you did that, they began to come after you. A family entity has been coming after you because you stretch forth your hands to bless somebody. Be careful as you go about reaching out to people this season. This is the warning that God gave me this morning. But all in all, your good heart shall not destroy you. You gave out of kindness. You gave out of love. You gave out of, you know, compassion. But those wicked entities, because they had held them captive, began to fight. Some of you, you are, you are, you are under an attack because you stretched for you and you gave to a place where you did not know. You didn't, some of you didn't pray over your seats. Some of you didn't even, uh, 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 like you were not conscious of what you were doing. You just did because you felt like doing and things began to, began to come after you. But you are protected this moment. Hallelujah. Your assign most of your assignment is to give. You are most of you are humanitarians. You you because you God has orchestrated your heart, your heart is open and you're willing to give. But those you give to but who do you give to? Who do you give to? Who do you give to? Or whom have you given to? That their bondages, that their entities came after you. If you're experiencing that this moment, if you're experiencing a situation where you gave and things began to turn bad for you, this moment God is delivering you. God is delivering you because of what you did in heaven, goodness, space, love it. There is no bad in heaven. Therefore, what you did was good. You did it out of love. And this moment, your love for them, your love for what you did is going to be paid off. But God is delivering you this moment. God is delivering you this moment. You are being delivered this moment. Someone was in a serious situation crying. And you saw them, you assisted them. And since you did that, things have been good. I'm speaking to those of you who are so unconscious about what has been going on. You thought that your, your problem is just natural. Little do you know that your problem, you know, generated from somewhere. Your problem came from somewhere. Some people are so strong in the spirit. They are so they're not they're not ordinary in the spirit. They've got things attached to them on the background, and they're, they're not just aware. And that's why you look you look at them. Most of them in their family, some of them in their family, no, none of them is is doing well because they've all been. A sacrifice to to a to an entity and they cannot they cannot excel they can't excel 
They can't excel. Some people cannot excel. This they cannot excel some moment because they, they got themselves attached to things that they, they were not conscious of. Be wary, be careful. Be careful. Be careful, beloved. Be very, very careful. As you go about this season, reach out to those you feel compassionate for. You feel compassion for. Pray over your seed. The Bible says, give, and it shall be given back to you. Full measures, pressed down, shaken together and running over. But how come that you gave and it was not being given back to you? How come that you stretched forth your hands and you didn't receive that result? It is more blessed to give than to receive. How come you were not more blessed when you did that giving? How come you were not blessed when you did that good? It's not like some of them might say, oh, how did you give it? Perhaps your heart was not good. That was why you didn't receive the You didn't receive a reward. No, no, no. It, it mustn't be that your heart isn't good. Though some people have given with good intentions, good heart, but things went bad because they were not, they didn't know where they were sowing into. They didn't know what they were sowing into. They were sowing into a deity. They were sowing into a situation, into, 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 into uh, 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 bondages unconsciously. How is that someone that is so nice, so good, is giving and things aren't coming back to them? Because they, they, they were sowing on wrongs, on, on the wrong soil. And they, because they were not conscious, they didn't pray about it. You could get to someone, you could get to a wrong source, but when you pray for your giving, or you pray before giving, or pray after your giving, the result must come back. You, you cannot be attacked. You cannot be attacked. But if you give unconsciously, you know, with all your heart, okay, this one, this person needs some support, and they went about giving, and you are not conscious that you need to need to pray over your seat, beloved. You don't know what my <laughs> This is people. Are, people are suffering this moment because of their unconscious giving. They thought they were doing so good, but they were they were instead putting themselves into danger. They thought they were doing so good, but instead they were instead they were calling things to themselves that they thought they, they, they don't even understand. What am I saying? Be mindful of your giving. Yes, you can give everybody, but give with consciousness. Give. In the, with the attitude of gratitude and prayers. Prayers. Let heaven bear witness with your giving. Yes, that your, your seat is covered. No, don't get me wrong. It is good to bless. It is good to give. Go ahead and give. But pray over your giving. So it's, not, it's not going to be used against you. Or that the, 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 the emphasis against the person that you are trying to bless will not come against you and prevail. You get to them, but their entities came towards you to, to devour. But God is protecting you. God is protecting you. God is protecting you. Your giving shall not go in vain. Your giving shall be recognized. Your giving shall, shall not be destroyed. To some of you, you gave, and the giving was destroyed. You, I, I, you, you just don't have an idea that you gave to some people, but the giving was being destroyed, was not being recognized. And you were like, God, what happened? It's because enemies have tried to frustrate all your effort to give. The enemy was trying to frustrate all your attempts, you know, to, 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 to receive your blessings. We all must give. If these things must go around so we all get blessed. I give you, you give someone else, now someone else will give me. It's, we, all we know is a life of giving. But the enemy has been trying to pollute our giving, to make our giving seem as though we are attracting curses, to make our giving seem worse, worthless. But that, that has come to end this moment. That has come to end this moment. You shall give and receive your reward. You shall give and be blessed. And be blessed. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahushua. Faith is our vehicle. And love is our strength. See you in the next video. Hallelujah.